Growing trap plants in a canvas garden is like having a canary in the coal mine to warn miners about deadly gas levels. Trap plants can alert the grower to the presence of insect pests. To monitor for spider mites, I grow French-style bean plants that I examine regularly. The bonus is I get a good crop of delicious beans off of each plant over a several-week harvest period. For aphids, I grow nasturtium. It is an interesting-looking plant, but I start new ones every three weeks so I can dispose of the previous plants before they need transplanting out of a five-inch square pot. Thrips love marigolds, so it is the third type of trap plant I have in my cannabis garden. If there is room in the garden, I sometimes let this attractive plant flower. I only occasionally grow eggplant as a trap plant for alerting me to the presence of whiteflies. My favorite is a dwarf style called fairy tale. They are great on the grill. To make it harder for pests to feed on your cannabis plants, you can toughen up the plant's leaves with a weekly spray of potassium silicate. I stop spraying when flowers start to form. I don't spray the trap plants. As your cannabis grows larger, scouting for pests on the plant visually becomes harder. A good shaking and then looking to see if anything drops off the plant is a good scouting practice. I stop periodic plant shaking when advanced flower development makes this method unadvisable. Trap plants are just one of many things that will help you detect and protect your medicinal cannabis from plant pests. Additional methods of keeping your crop safe will be in upcoming episodes.